So today we're going to install the Bronco 3500 to my boat trailer and uh, we're going to go pick it up. Just got it in the mail. Let's go. I'm so excited I forgot all my tools at home. <laughs> Going back home to getting my tools and getting all the tools that I need. In and out for manually doing it up on land on the trailer. You put this in the front. Here's the controller. And uh, gonna put that there bolts for all the parts protectors for the cables black and blue cables for the black is for the battery red is for battery yellow is for the relay and the blue is for the relay as well they all come uh, free fixed so you don't have to do anything so that's really good got this little bad boy Bronco! Cables for the relay. This is the mountain plate, which is uh, neat to have. I'm gonna put this underneath the actual motor. The relay is here. And uh, we got the winch underneath for negative and plus. And here we got the battery, negative and plus here. And uh, I believe you connect the. Uh, you put this controller into this little guy bronco bracket and then we got the motor itself <laughs> i believe this is like 10 kilos or something Ooh. so we're gonna mount this bad boy on in the front so that's everything that that's in the box so we're gonna remove this old goliath winch and uh, the previous owner that had this trailer, he used to have a heavier boat and he used this one. But I want to go from this to the electric winch. Uh, I can't see myself doing this for, for ages. So we're just basically going to remove uh, the old one and we're going to hire the, the tower here so we get uh, the, a better level because now it's pointing this way, which I don't like. So we're gonna remove everything and then we're gonna start installing. So now these two, it's gonna get combined and uh, I have all the bolts for it here. So let's start doing it. So now we're gonna fasten the motor into uh, the base plates. So we need four screws for that. Just like so, one, two, three, four. Now the only thing we have to do right now is to raise it a little bit, which I've already prepared here. We just Boom, and we just cut it up like five or six centimeters. This is easy to just adjust when you're at the boat ramp. If it's not uh, high enough, you can just higher it up, or if you need to get it lower, just lower down. This trailer is a Respo 750. I don't know if I'm gonna have the batteries here, or if I'm gonna have the battery over here. Uh, I will probably wanna have it uh, it's a little bit too tight here, so I think I have to go in the front because uh, the battery box is going to hit the boat and that's not good. So we're going to go with the battery on the, on the front and that one just going to, uh, from the motor here down to the tower and then through into the battery. So that's what we're going to do now.
So when you're starting off with the cables from the, from the winch down to the relay, don't forget to uh, put on the small rubber detectors. They have to be on, so they're pretty, not that hard to put on here. So basically put it on like that, and then you just press. You seem to be stuck for the, for the first part, but then when you get it in, you just twist and push. And it's done. So make sure you do that on all the cables. So on the left side, you can see there's a sign where it says positive or a plus. That's where we're going to mount the first cable. And put it there. I'm not going to put the rubber on yet. I'm just going to put it in place because I don't know if I'm going to have the, the correct angle to start here. So I'm just doing this for now. And then when I'm done, I know where all the cable is going to be at. I tighten it up in the correct direction. Putting down the battery here, see if it fits. And it does fit perfectly. I'm getting the last screws installed into the battery compartment here. And I uh, managed to, uh, <laughs> to injure myself or hurt myself rather. I had something here. Yeah, this, uh, this it's a little cable holder that I just glued there for my previous installation that I had in the boats and uh, yeah I always works with I always work with gloves and people laugh because I use gloves all the time but uh, when the shit hits the fan or I'm just clumsy I don't know maybe from the winch down to the relay the blue goes to the blue the yellow goes to the yellow and same goes on the battery. Red goes to plus and black goes to, to um, negative. I made sure we had full battery and uh, I also attached the relay on the back side of the battery box. And now I'm just gonna use um, stripes and put the cables from the winch on the tower here. So they're in a better position and then uh, yeah these cables are far too long so we're probably gonna use maybe 40 centimeters at most because uh, this is way too long All right, we uh, have everything where it should be. Uh, I'm just gonna manually push the boat in because it's really shallow here. Normally, all the stones here, they are fully covered with water. And from where I'm standing, about two meters up. So, uh, it's pretty shallow. So I'm just gonna do the same, in the same way I usually do when I uh, wrap my bow here. Hopefully we can get it to go down. Nope. Mm. The only thing that I did wrong here is I, uh, I had the switch here, which is uh, just where it starts. But I don't, I don't think it's any problem. There's no problem right now because it's on the side. Uh, but I'm gonna move that a little bit to the left side uh, because there, that's where the, the rope goes. So 
Here we go, let's try it out. Nice! So we're done installing the Bronco 3500 electric winch and uh, I didn't need to do anything but moving the controller here just a little bit to the side because it was this close uh, rubbing against it so I just moved it when uh, I figured why not have some other stuff than just fishing on this channel. Um, so if there's anything you need to know, just leave a comment and I will try to uh, answer it back as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, time to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, subscribe to the channel also. I forgot to mention that. Uh, subscribe.